All right, everybody, what's up? Welcome to another Friday Mastermind. This one is it's a little unique in the fact that I don't have Deborah or Todd there. I'm in Las Vegas. We had the Modern Mortgage and Modern Real Estate Summit yesterday, and they are both downstairs hosting a Win by Noon Mastermind. So uh, we had about, well, I think we had, the, the, the studio was full yesterday. It had a total of 60 seats. Um, there was someone in all 60 seats and there were still people standing around. So I think we, uh, you know, with the speakers, with the people who bought tickets, you know, I think we had 70 people in that room, uh, you know, all of the speakers, plus just a lot of very successful uh, innovators in the mortgage industry. It was just an incredible uh, day of masterminding. Uh, today, we are going to do a debrief on that and share some of the takeaways some of, some of the things we'll shine a light on and point on for them to have total value and context. Maybe you, you needed to be there, but we're going to try to make it so this this call just stands alone in its value. Uh, Dan Keller is going to be joining me in the next five-ish minutes. So he was one of the speakers at the event. He was copiously taking notes. And, uh, you know, I'll almost be interviewing him when he shows up. Uh in the meantime, we've you know we've got 82 folks, and I I see some of the names on here. So we've got some very successful folks on this call. Uh, I know we had to have some people that were on the the the, the call yesterday virtually um, or in person. Uh, do a little reaction. Give me a thumbs up if you were there virtually. You watched it online, or you there we go. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, a lot. Uh, so, and, and I don't know if people were hitting the button twice or not, but it looks like over 20 people were on this call. So uh, with that said, I would love in chat right now, if there were some big takeaways you took to, to share, you know, if, if there was one, two, three things that you can just quickly type I would love to play off of that while we we have Dan coming. Also, I would love for this to be truly one of the, the most interactive calls. Uh, I will tell you, I want to get down to that mastermind. So if we're not getting a lot of interaction from people on this, you know, it might only be a 30, 40 minute mastermind. You know, I, I my goal is not to go the full hour. Uh, but if y'all are engaging and you're asking questions, I will absolutely be here for the full hour that we've all set aside. Uh, and so right now we have one person said attack the process. Um, attack the process was the the theme of the real estate event. And we picked picked that theme because realtors need to become more process driven than ever. And most buyer agents are not process driven the way a listing agent is. They are they're not giving a a really tight, well thought out, something they do consistently with everyone presentation. You know, a listing presentation is a thing because they have a presentation. It's killer. They practice it. They've done it. You know, they're super successful hundreds of times. And and then they are negotiating comp. 5% versus 6% has been traditionally the, the range. And then they're getting a contract signed. Uh, that's what buyer agents are going to need to do. Um, I would be curious in this group what percentage of people that you know are home buyers that work with realtors are and they're buying a home are doing that under a contract today you know there's an agreement a signed agreement in place uh we had a pretty varied answers from the stage yesterday i i asked that question and i've asked that question a lot in the real world lately and i'm hearing like one percent two percent less than five percent a couple people in the back of the room yelled out 30 percent and i was like 30%? I mean, no. But then I had people say, well, hey, in the state of Washington, you know, this is how we roll. So I don't know if that's the case. I'm still learning. Uh, John, so far, is the only one that's put it in there, 10%. Uh, I'd love to get just a couple more people. Um, and I agreed, it, it is going to be different in different states. I'm going to try to work on getting more clarity and education around that. Uh, very uncommon in my area. Where's that, David? Uh, so, so please, what do you think the percentage is in the United States? I would love, uh, a number of answers that I think the, the national average is less, and I'm going to go right now with less than 5%. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you agree with that, that, you know, if you t take a nationwide level, it's, it's not a big number. It's less than 5%. Uh, 
Okay, I'm getting thumbs up. So think about that. Who who thinks by the end of the year it's going to be significantly higher? Uh, and and think about it. I I don't know. I'm skeptical that July first will be the date that all of this takes place. I just do not understand how that's possible from an execution standpoint. But you know, I do believe it'll be this year, and and I do believe that we will see an increase in the number of buyers that are under a contract with a realtor increase. And I, and I do think it will be like a hundred percent. Like it's realtors aren't going to work with people that don't have some type of a, you know, presentation, understanding of what we're going to get paid, how we work and a signed agreement. So think about what an insane opportunity that is for the mortgage industry to help realtors um, make that pivot. And, and that's why we called it attack the process. Like it, that came from, uh, um, oh my gosh, Paul, what's the guy's name I interviewed on Newman? Ben Newman, Ben Newman. I interviewed Ben Newman this uh, Monday. He had a lot of incredible things to say. By, by the way, anybody, you, you got to watch that interview with Ben. He, for five years, he was the mindset and, um, the mindset coach and performance coach for Alabama for five years. Uh, he's got three national championship rings, you know, like when I interviewed him behind him, he's, he's been the, the, the mindset and, and uh, performance coach for a number of uh, elite teams. And he's got like 10 rings behind him, national championships. This guy is legit. And my big takeaway from him was attack the process. That's what we ended up naming that call. Dan Keller, good to have you, my brother. Hey, good morning. Hey, hey, real quick, Dan, um, and everyone watching this, usually we do this before we hit record and go live, but we do a little screen, screen scrolling. My mind's not working. I worked too hard yesterday, uh, but we do an image. So, Dan, do something fun with your hands. Paul, get the, get a shot and tell us when you got it. Three, two, one. Enjoy. All right, guys. And, and by the way, that was an intentional thumbnail. You know, so that when we share this on social media, one of my goals with all the interviews that I do is they're unique. You know, they don't all look the same. And I've got different people. I pretty much give everybody that advice. And some people do this. Some people go, and I don't give, I just say, hey, do something with your, your hands and smile. And so uh, just stopping the scroll and getting more people into this content. So, so Dan, I, I opened it up with... Uh, sharing attack the process just because I was asking the audience it looks like about 25 you know percent of the folks on this call were on the virtual event yesterday so but 75 percent let's just say we're not on it so my goal is that you and I are gonna talk about what we thought the most important takeaways are uh, if anybody asks questions or you want to throw something out do that in in zoom but Dan anything you want to add to attack the process and why that's such a big opportunity in the market, given what's happening in the real estate world. Yeah, attack the process is a big, you know, Ben Newman um, pillar in his coaching and just in everything that he talks about, right? I heard you guys right when I came on, I think talking about that interview, um, you and I were talking about this yesterday where, um, and, and in fact, last night I was talking with Brett Baird, who's uh, a big mortgage guy in Colorado with Gavin Ekstrom. Those guys are studs. I've coached with them for years. Well, they're big, they're bros with Ben Newman. And so I, I was coaching with, with, with Brett, like three years ago, I was texting him from the airport last night. Uh, we were going back and forth on a few things. And I was like, dude, I love the, that you're so tight with, with Ben. I said, Ben's an animal. And I was like, I love seeing him in the mortgage industry now. Like he's, you know, he was on mortgage coach and stuff like that. And, uh, and it, we have Ben and I, like my background is college baseball and strength and conditioning. And that's when I, when I got connected with Ben three years ago, it was so, we can take so many things from the athletic world and apply it to business and attack the process is just that it's focus, focus on where your feet are. Nick Saban says that all the time. That's his most famous quote, be where your feet are. Right. And uh, attack the process is yes. The goal is to win the championship. But we're not thinking about winning the championship every single day. We're focusing on how great can we be right now in the moment. And that's the process. And so we're attack the morning, you know, attack your call log. Like I've got today, I've got a bunch of stuff that I need to do today. And I'm going to attack what I'm doing in that moment, in that time block. 
And uh, it's just a great, that's a huge, just something that all of us as mortgage professionals can add to our business and our daily routine is attack the moment, attack the process. Yeah. Um, you know, Dan, before I ask you what, you know, your big takeaways or, you know, we, we had a theme for the full event. And at the end, we unveiled that theme, which was purpose and profits. Uh, and, and, and then we had a, a theme and a pillar for the real estate event, which was attack the process. And then, and then the, the opening pillar and theme was obsessed with impact. Uh, and, and the reason I opened with that, in addition to the fact that that is my personal theme in two words for 2024, um, which has really been my my theme for my entire career. Uh, but it, you know, all the most successful people that I've interviewed, all the most successful people in any industry that is unrelated, but I'm just attracted to them. Uh, they're obsessed with impact. Anything you want to add to that, you know, and, and just kind of the Dan Keller obsessed with impact, you know, journey, because you are clearly obsessed with impact, bro. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think you look at like Jeremy and you look at Shayla and you look at uh, Josh metal. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm sadly, I'm probably leaving a, a few monster monster mortgage coach contributors and producers off the, that roster. But those three people just yesterday, for example, at the summit, they're at a point in their career where their their impact might be a little bit different than mine, mine or Denise's or you know an in the trenches producer, and and so I think one of my bigger takeaways was like you can provide impact and you can deliver impact and you can be obsessed with impact regardless of where you're at in your career or what you do. I think we all have the ability. Um, I, I try to look at it this way: every conversation I have with anyone i want them to leave i don't know inspired um feeling better about themselves feeling better about their future a little bit of hope or whatever that's impact um when i'm when i'm meeting with borrowers of course there's a business relationship there when i'm meeting with a loan officer that i would love to partner with to have come in and work with me in my branch or my region of course there's a business side of it but i think what jeremy and shayla and some of these people are really talking about was Let's set the business relationship aside and let's focus on in the moment, in this conversation, am I providing, am I delivering, am I prepared to bring as much impact to that person's life, career, situation as possible? And it's just a great perspective. And I know, Dave, you've built a career with, with mortgage coaching, with these weekly interviews um, and your top producing coaching interviews. Um, that's impact. You've impacted hundreds of thousands of people's lives and so it's 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 no surprise that that's that's kind of what you wanted to lead with, you know, this summit. And uh, I think we can all take away from it, regardless of where you're at in your career. If you lead with impact, um, regardless of if there's a business relationship, you're going to leave that person in a better position. And that should be all of our goals. Yeah. And, you know, Dan, I'm not going to ask you the question right now, but I do want to maybe close on it because it's not like we got into business with I'm obsessed with impact. At least I didn't, yeah. you know, in my twenties, I was not obsessed with impact. You know, I, uh, you know, even in my thirties, I look back and maybe, maybe I started to, because I wanted to go beyond myself, you know, mm -hmm. and I wanted to build a team and I wanted to build a company and, and then I, you know, created a mortgage coach. So, I mean, there's, there, there are some, there was a time where I went from, you know, your twenties where, <laughs> Everybody comes from a different place as to what their priorities were at those times, but yeah. uh, my priorities at those times didn't make me who I am yeah. today as a as a businessman. But I I had a year or a a period where I became obsessed with impact. So I want to ask you when yours was at some point. So just know that I I do want to read out what people have said so far in terms of their takeaways. So uh, let's see. I'm going to try to. I don't want to miss anything. Attack the process. By the way, these were what you, the community, said your takeaways were. Daniel Saw's scripted business. Um, uh, Justice, I'm going to watch it again this weekend, so I can't, you know, so I can implement. Okay, agreed. By the way, I do recommend you watch it. Um, in terms, one person asked, "When's it going to be available?" The full recording will promise by Monday. It's compiling right now. It's a big file, but it will be there by Monday for sure. And it could be over the weekend, uh, and then. 
will, like we've done every year, those will be edited into individuals. And I'd say within a week, we'll have, you know, the full show that you can watch. And then we'll have individual um, speakers that you can just go, oh, I want to, I want to watch Dan Keller. Uh, so heads up on that. Uh, John loved you, Dan. So he loved the Dan Keller set. Uh, Mary said mindset. Uh, Kim said chaos creates opportunity. Uh, uh, Jalen said biggest reminder for me was not to pretend to be someone you're not. Authenticity wins. Roger that, brother. Uh, sharpen your skills. Shayla's energy and process. Dan Keller's ideas were fantastic. Uh, to be bold, 100% about building relationships. Another vote for Obsessed with Impact. Everyone was amazing, but I loved Denise's buyer presentation. Um, I'm gonna, by the way, I, when I give my first awake, I, I am gonna start with Denise because she said something that I thought was super valuable. All right, so Dan, those were all the things that the community yeah. has thrown into chat. What was your biggest takeaway? Or what what do you think is some of the top takeaways you wanna bring and talk about right now? Yeah, I mean, so two, two, two. I left with one because I'm in the trenches as a producing loan officer and a branch manager and a, and a regional leader. So one, um, just Denise, Denise Donahue uh, and her, I need to improve my buyers. I have a great buyer's presentation. It could be better. And Denise's is better. And so um, improving my buyer's presentation, really asking better questions around rate. Um, and I think, I think her buyer's presentation too ties right into what you were talking about, Dave, is impact. Um, her buyer's presentation is all about the consumer and their them understanding mortgages and ultimately the power of the mortgage that we put them in, the financial, their, their short-term and their long-term financial goals relative to the, the purchase, the mortgage. So I, I thought that Denise's presentation was awesome. She hit lead off yesterday and just and and let off the the event with a, a bang. Um, I think Shayla's. I think Shayla's. Um, so I've been in a coaching program with Shayla and Jeremy and and a, and a lot of those guys and Daniel saw and the fact that from you know from stage how how she was so fired up to compete with Daniel saw in his marketplace, not from a, I'm going to beat your ass. Like, I hate you. You're my competition. You know, the, their colleagues, you know, their colleagues and they show a massive amount of mutual respect for each other. Um, but they want to compete. And that competition is going to make both of them better. And both of them are great leaders. And, and, and so um, the fact that Shayla, I love that Shayla's going, you know, she's breaking out of just Reno and going national with, with growing and leading and Shayla's a great leader. So I loved, I needed that personally, Dave, I needed that little, uh, that spark, that little jolt to be like, Dan, you're playing too small. You're, you're playing way too small right now. And that was the, 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 the coaching program that we were all in was all about that. Like you would leave and you're fired up and you're fueled by what Daniel saw is doing, what Shayla is doing, what, what Jeremy, what some of these coaches are doing and it made you better. Um, you know, what's that saying, Dave, a, a rising tide raises all ships in the harbor. That's what I took away from Shayla with her energy and her passion to just, she's super successful and has had a, an amazing career. And see how fired up she is to go create even more impact for loan officers. So I think she's out of production now, I think. And I think she's more, more driven by impacting and coaching loan officers and, and, teaching them what she's done so well. And that's originating mortgages. Yeah, I want to put an explanation mark on that. And I do want to speak to it because we had thousands of people all log in at the same time. And it did create some technical issues. So there were a number of people that, you know, got kicked out and, you know, missed, you know, I heard people that missed all of Denise. I heard people that missed the first five minutes, 10 minutes. Uh, and then I know people that saw it. So I don't exactly know what happened there. But I've heard from enough folks that there was some technical difficulties at the very beginning. Uh, do know the whole recording will be available um, hopefully like today or tomorrow, but we promise by Monday. So go back and listen to Denise if you did miss it. Uh, and, and I did hear that the recording was available. So it, Denise may be in there right now. Go, go into the platform. Uh, and, and I was going to lead out like my number one 
takeaway. Really, just a reminder for the event is, is one how humble Denise was. Here, here she is. Like last year, she was she was not a top one percent loan officer in America. She was like top half of a percent loan officer in America, and and she just opened up with. You know, I, I I was comparing my conversion to some other elite people. And while my production was, you know, winning and I thought I was doing well because of how many loans I was closing and what my production was compared to the everyone else. But her conversion was not elite. You know, I mean, it was elite, but it wasn't. There were people that were doing better than her. So she's like went back and she has dramatically improved her conversion. She she and then she talked about how did she do it, her buyer consultation, uh, and she she just added some new standards to it. She upgraded the standards of her presentation, and now she's killing it. So I just want to push that to the entire industry. I I truly believe that if every mortgage professional and again attack the process, your conversion is the score of your process. Like if you've got a great conversion, then you have a great borrower consultation process. Um, if you don't have an elite conversion rate, you do not have an elite process, or maybe you do, but you don't use it every time. You're inconsistent with it, but it's really simple, guys. And I do, do believe that message alone could probably um, boost every, you know, the majority of people watching this right now. If you went and measured your conversion, you compared it to the most elite people at your company and the most elite people that you know, uh, and then you you worked on attacking the process, upgrading the process, and you know upgrading your your standard. You'd win, like you'd hit your goals this year. You'd gain market share, like all your dreams would come true. Uh, I hate for it to be that simple, but I do think uh, that is that is the cornerstone of success. Dan, any thoughts on that? Yeah, what was so impressive about her coach or her mentor or leader at, at at the company she's at, I think she said it was Marty, Marty Preston. Marty Preston. The fact, yeah. yeah. It's the fact that Marty came in and said, you know, didn't shy away from the fact that she's one of their top producers, one of the top producers in America. He came straight to her and said, hey, I, I think we can make you better. You know, you're doing really, really, really good. But boy, I think you're if you just tweaked this right here. Uh, you'd be better. And the fact that once she was coachable and open minded enough to be like, yeah, okay, I could probably do a little bit better there. And then went and worked on it. And which you talk about the process broke down a small part of the process that a lot of people don't focus on, did it and and look at her numbers. She even got better. So um, I thought that was a big takeaway too from, from her talk. Yeah, no, agreed. Uh, remember, guys, if you have questions, put those down below. If you had a question, I haven't answered it yet. Um, please re-put it because we've we're getting so much, which by the way, it's great how much we're getting. Um, but we're getting so much feedback that I'm kind of losing it. Dan, is have you seen anything in comments that you think we need to hit before you you share your next takeaway? Um Mar Mar Marina asked what I will implement from the summit. Um, I posted on on social media last night. You, say, you know, I got to speak, so I, I I think I posted a picture, a video that you guys made for me, Dave, and it said I, I you know uh, learned a ton, shared a little, and that's a great summary. I mean, I was a student yesterday. I sat there and and uh, and listened to a handful of my colleagues just deliver a level ten uh, TED Talk experience. I I I think what I was so shocked with. Is that the real estate, the real estate section of the Modern Mortgage Summit was so valuable. It was so good, Dave. Like, like between Carrie, who you've already interviewed, and um, oh, oh my goodness, Seth and and Michelle Wilson, and then the 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 guy from Josh Metal's buddy from um, Utah. So many really good takeaways, guys. That two things that we can do. So uh, here are my two takeaways from that. What I'm doing with that is I'm taking each one of those recordings and I'm going to host a mastermind huddle at my office. And I don't want 20 or 30 realtors. I'm, I'm known for putting on lunch and learns and getting hundred realtors. And it looks really good for Instagram, but here's the thing. My best real estate agent events are five to seven people. And we're sitting around a big table. We're going to watch this 15 minute Ted talk. We're going to download and debrief it. We're going to talk about it. And then we're going to, what are our takeaways? 
And so I, I think that was one of my bigger takeaways is that, look, I got four or five really great leaders in real estate that shared amazing info. And I'm going to do that with my real estate agents to empower them right now in a time where I think real estate agents really need to be empowered with stuff like that. And then uh, takeaway from the mortgage side of it that I'm implementing. Hey, I, tell, I think tell, 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 tell me, wait, let's workshop yep. that real quick before we just skip past that. Uh, and, and by the way, Tom mentioned the recording is available. Tom, could you just confirm? And could I get a couple of people to confirm that the recording is available? That would be great. Um, but I, I don't want Dan's idea to, to run by because I, I truly believe this is a time where we're all learning, we're all preparing, and and you need to be doing masterminds with realtors. I don't care if it's your first year in the business. You know, you you can figure out how to how to get a couple agents together. I've done a lot of interviews on this. I I love what he said, like, hey, pick one of the sessions that you really think is on point. I, I know um, Carrie, Carrie, Carrie Scholl, um, I had asked Todd Bookspan before I came up to record this in my room. He's doing the mastermind downstairs. And I'm like, hey, Todd, what, what's your, there was one takeaway everybody should do. He's like, that Carrie Scholl interview, like, like they should watch that. And then they should get as many realtors to watch that. And they should do masterminds around around that because she's a, a loan officer or a realtor that is going to win. Like yeah. her and the people that are in her orbit are going to win. And, and so Todd's like, get mastermind around that with agents. Be the one that shared that. Uh, for anyone that didn't have a ticket or didn't go to it, uh, I do believe my interview with her covered a lot of it. I mean, there it was a different presentation that she gave so there was some uniqueness to the two different messages but the the interview in youtube and we'll put a link to that down below uh you can leverage that but the 15 minute ted talk would be a great realtor mastermind before you go to the mortgage anything else you want to add to that yeah i think her her her, her talk was incredible and loved how she uh, was so again so focused on the process <laughs> and her buyer's presentation or her buyer her buyer process here was the cool thing about that. If you as a loan officer take that and you get a group of realtors and here's what I would do. I, If you have 30, 40, 50 real estate agents that you call on that you know, break it down into five or six group pods, okay? And play Carrie's interview. And what the big takeaways from Carrie's interview is that she has a great process that you can say, listen, this person sells hundreds of homes a year, manages a huge team, one of the top agents in all the country, and this is what they do. Like, this is how I built my mortgage practice through mortgage coach and through coaching. I've gone and seen how the best of the best do it. Swipe a few things and then try to put my name and my vibe and my, my stamp on it and then try to improve it. And that's it. So we have an opportunity agents to go and take something from two or three of the best in the business in the nation relative to working with buyers, because I think that's a need right now. And here's how she does it. Let's my commitment to you as a lender is let's do this. Let's partner. Let me help you roll this out and let's go do some damage in our marketplace and let's go make impact with buyers right now that are confused because the media is completely misrepresenting the NAR settlement stuff. If you had a process like Carrie's, your conversion rate with the NAR settlement with commissions and buyers agency agreements would go through the roof. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be an, as much as an issue. So that was, that was my big, 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 big takeaway from her interview, Dave. Yeah, no, really, really good stuff. And then Michelle Wilson, uh, who who is one of your realtors, and and I know she was part of a call that we did before. Her whole message around um, sales conditioning and training, you know, like do a mastermind, you know, and then and then do role playing with your realtors and. And I, I couldn't recommend enough. We'll put a link down below. Michelle had mentioned um, something morning. Did they do it every morning, Dan? They do the breakfast club for real estate breakfast agents. Club. Yeah, the co-founders group every morning at 7.29 a.m. Chad Cooley and Michelle. That's actually how I met them. And they do it for their agents. They have 700 plus agents in their group. Um, sometimes 50 to 150 show up. But um it's it's a 30 minute huddle and you get and it's role play. It's 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 not a hey, how you doing? Checking in. It's Chad Cooley and Michelle leading it. And it's this is something we're working on right now in the market, whether it's calling expireds or calling for sell by owners, 
um, or dealing with the buyer's agency uh, rebuttal from a seller or a buyer. And they are coach and they role play and they just grab someone who's up, who wants to jump in. And someone jumps in, they go ring, ring, or they sit down, they're sitting at a table and they roll through it. That's leadership, Dave. What Carrie's doing is leadership. What Michelle's doing is leadership. What what uh, Seth O'Byrne's doing with financial literacy and wealth creation is leadership. I mean, he literally said you should be doing this with your commissions. I mean, how great was that? So, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah that was so, so, good. so much. It was so good. Yeah, yeah, the anger no, it was so, really good. And and I just can't recommend enough. Watch Michelle's uh, go to a breakfast club. And then be that partner. I mean, her and Cooley have been doing this for a long time. So you can watch two elite leaders that are also elite coaches that specialize in role playing and sales yeah. conditioning. Yeah. And and so you, one, you can get better by being part of that and then get so good at it that you can go and take that superpower into the market and, and be that type of a leader to the agents you serve because a yeah. pivot is happening. And yep. every agent's going to have to learn a new conversation. Even the top listing agents are going to have a new presentation they need to give. And as a mortgage coach, you guys, if you're a mortgage coach, you are process driven. You are advisors. If you have our full borrower intelligence platform, you are data driven. And and take those skills to real estate right now. Like, you know, the, the future of lending and the future of real estate is data driven, process driven, and advice with price. You know, if you are not just leaning into those those pillars of success, uh, you're going to get left behind because a lot of people are. And that's what we're yep. teaching people in this community. Uh, so, Dan, what was the uh, kind of you were getting ready to roll into top takeaway for the mortgage side? And I uh, hijacked you, but I thought it was a good hijack. Yeah, I think the I think I mentioned earlier, I think the the buyers, the buyers presentation that Denise talked about, I'm going to upgrade mine. I think that's really big. Um, I think one of the things that I, um, I'm really obsessed with this right now, and that's getting better at making sales calls and having sales conversations. I don't think there's someone that does it at a higher volume level than Daniel saw his numbers. I'm in a coaching program with Daniel right now, and he's the number one guy in the whole program. The dude closes a ton of loans, but if you go back and listen to his presentation, let's table the amount of loans that he closes right now. Cause I think we get focused on that. Go back and listen to his presentation. Dave, do you remember the part at the very beginning where he was like, when I was a brand new loan officer in a call center and he's in Ohio, right? So he's in the East Eastern standard time, right? He would make his phone calls until five or six o'clock that time. Then he'd go for three hours and call the West coast in the call. What West coast people. Then after that, he would call Hawaii, Right. And I'm just sitting here going, dude, that guy has some dog in him. He always had it. He always has. No wonder why he's number one. He's one of the top loan officers in America. Um, it's because of that. And then what did he say? He's been cold calling or calling prospects for years. Probably a third of the presenters yesterday were like anti-cold calling. I would go as far as saying, and I'm not anti cold calling, I'm pro sales calling, I'm pro sales conversations. If you're struggling for business right now, if you need business right now, there's two things. There's only two ways to go acquire a new customer. Number one, you market and call people that know you. Number two, you market and call people that don't know you. That's it. There's no other way. And so if you need business right now, you're going to get business from people that know you, or you're going to have to go out and procure new business from people that don't know you. And that's calling realtors. And so Daniel just does that as, at, a, at a ridiculously high level. And I thought his talk was just absolutely incredible. Um, there was some social media uh, tips and strategies that I think were presented yesterday. Guys, I've been on social media for years. The, the people that talk about social media and the people doing social media are amazing. Um it's important to understand that you can't go all in on social media right now and see results. That's a long play. I think we all need to be on social media. We all need to be creating video. We all need to be doing the short form video. Great presentations. I think that's a great addition to a great business model of making sales calls, meeting with realtors. Um, and, and so I, I think there, those, those talks on, on social media were awesome in regards to how to make impact with your message and getting really good. The reason why I also say that social media and video is a long play, 
I hired Renee Rodriguez five years ago because I wanted to get better at video specifically for Instagram and Facebook. And so you have to understand that to be impactful, like a couple of these people were talking about with social media, you got to learn how to speak and you got to learn how to be impactful in a minute or less. You got to learn how to, to make a frame message tie down, how to make a message. And so I thought there was some good stuff there, but I, the, the big takeaways for me is we need loans. I need more loans right now. Me, Daniel Saw's talk was incredible for going out and getting new business. I think mine was, here's the process for going out and making a sales call, how to call a realtor. Hey, hey Dan, Dan, yep. Dan, before you, I want to workshop a few things you said, and then I do want to have you share what you shared. Like you don't have to go do the the 15 minute keynote for everyone, yeah. but I would love to, you know, really spend some time on that because obviously that's something that's top of mind in your head and was, you know, ev everyone killed it. I, I do want to, before I go back to Daniel, um, men, um, um, men, um, men who it's, what's a, what's a mortgage if you're not following him guys, he has over like 300,000 followers on Instagram. I, I think if he's not the most successful loan officer on social media, he's among the most successful. Uh, I don't know who else is generating more consumer direct leads than him. And they're converting them. Like he, they put a process together to create content that generates leads. And then they have a process that closes loans and he's winning at scale. And I know that because Socia Vila and him are, you know, together and I, and, and so he's killing it. He's going to close over 20 loans this month or some crazy number. I talked to him a couple of days ago, uh, but it was a masterclass. I mean, it was literally a 15 minute masterclass on how to win on social media in this market. So I just, again, there was so much gold. And then I, I did want to remind people on Daniel Saw. I have interviewed him uh, three times uh, last year. Uh, and I interviewed his VP of sales once. Absolute must, um, you know, listen to those interviews and watch his session. Like he is just the epitome of a data-driven, process-driven, advice with price professional. And um, Dan, did you say he's number one in the core right now? Daniel Saad, number one. He's always, for the last two or three years, he's been number one. Um and he, I, I believe he owns the number one spot right now. Yeah. Wow. And that's, that's so, elite. That's like the best of the best. Yeah. And again, I've said this a lot, but I mean, he, he became the number one market shooter, market leader in Columbus, Ohio, taking out a big bank, Huntington Bank, who was a number one and putting Rocket in the number three seat. So he's an IMB. He's very elite in how he executes. And, and here's the deal, guys. Like when you listen to the interview I did with Daniel on how he closed the like 170, no, 370 loans last year. And then I interviewed his vice president of sales, how he's turning loan officers into mortgage coaches at scale. Like it's the playbook, guys. Like they are just showing you exactly what to do and how to do it to, to crush it. Now they are, they know what to do and then they are doing it every day, every week they're winning the day with a process that I just can't emphasize enough. You check out. So Dan, why don't you uh, talk about your presentation a little more? You know, I cut you off because I wanted to give you more time to do it. And, uh, but, but kind of walk us through the takeaways from what you shared and, and uh, what you think would be most valuable right now. Yeah. I think the timing of you guys putting me in at the very end was, was great because you had, you had people like Shayla going, hey, you need to make more outbound sales calls. Dave, what does she call it? She calls it... Uh, uh, pleasantly aggressive. Pleasantly aggressive. Pleasantly, pleasantly aggressive. Uh, pleasantly aggressive. She said, she talked about that last year at the summit and she talked about it again. We have to be pleasantly aggressive. We have to be aggressive. That means making outbound sales calls. That means having a tough conversation with a realtor or a borrower. That means... Um, knowing what to say to a realtor to get them to sit down with you. And then same thing, you had Daniel Sa talking about prospecting and calling real estate agents and calling borrowers and walking them through the sales conversation and then anchored it down with me, okay? And that's really having an unobjectable 
an unobjectable message when you're talking with real estate agents, when you're making a, a, a having a sales conversation with them, whether it's cold or lukewarm. And, um, and I didn't spend a ton of time on the scripting and the dialogue because I only had 12 ish minutes after I framed my meeting. And so what I wanted to drive everyone to was my free private rise MLO group on Facebook. It's rise MLO with Dan Keller training with Dan Keller sales training with Dan Keller. And what I do is I bring in my sales coach, Chad Cooley, and we do role plays and we do coaching. We did a 90 day burn in, in October and the results were crazy. In fact, we interviewed, we brought in one of our students, Cody Villanueva, and the dudes had his best quarter in his entire mortgage career just this last quarter following the 90 day burn. And, and it all was how to call a real estate agent, cold or lukewarm. And the thing is, is it's not as bad as you guys think it is if you know what to say. And so, I think it was just it was it was a it was a great process, Dave, how you went with teeing up mega producers, big producers, and them talking about how important it is not to sit behind your screen and send emails and have a newsletter or sit behind your video camera and just make TikToks all day long and send them out to realtors or video messages to realtors. You actually have to. That stuff's important. You need that. You need that. That builds credibility. That that's marketing. But you got, if you need business right now, you need to, you get, you got to get good at making an outbound sales call. Like I said earlier, there's, there's two ways to acquire business right now. It's from people that know you and it's from people that don't know you. And so if the people that know you aren't sending you enough business, which my database isn't right now, um, I need to go out and connect with people that don't know me and don't know the value, the impact that I can make as a mortgage professional working with them. So I thought that was great. I think there, I want to share two things with you. Um, and I didn't get to share this quote um, because I kind of ran, I was running, I saw the, the clock at zero and I had to button it up. But I think it's really, it's really important to understand this. And I'm going to go back to baseball. I'm a big baseball guy. Let this soak in guys real quick. It takes no more effort to hit a grand slam home run than it does to strike out. Think about that real quickly. It takes no more effort. The only difference in the strikeout swing and the grand slam is skill set. That's it. And so what we learned from the Modern Mortgage Summit is how to improve our skill set as a mortgage professional. What I teach in with my loan officers and with the Rise MLO coaching group is how to improve your skill set relative to sales. And so I think it's uh, I think it's really important that that we, we we focus on that moving forward, you guys, is that it's just a difference in skill set. It's the same effort. It's the same game situation. Everything's the same. It's just one had a little bit better skill set and was able to connect with the ball to hit the grand slam. The other missed it and struck out. And uh, the but one last you... thing. No, oh, no, no, no. Stop. I got a workshop and add my two cents that because I'm going to I'm going to debate you on what you just said, because I don't think you're right. Um, okay. I think it actually takes more effort and energy to strike out than hit a grand slam. Because remember, you're swinging more times, you know, yeah. so so you're actually spending more physical energy. You're spending more mental injury, injury, energy to strike out than to hit a grand slam. And then just another case in point, um, golfers, like who who works harder on the golf course? The guy that hit par? Um, and it has a great score or the guy like yeah. me that's in the nineties, dude, I'm working way harder than people yeah. that are hitting pars. And what's the difference between me and them? It's not the clubs. Cause I got okay. some really good clubs. I got the same clubs pros use, uh, yeah. you know, um, but you know what it's skill set. Yeah. And, 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 and so I thought that was such a great point. Although I, I just had to challenge you there a little bit. Uh, but yeah, no, I love that, yeah. Dan. No, it's true. And then, and then this is what I did close on that. I don't think any player, I don't think any professional player or any player, in any sport, or let's just even say business person at the closing table, when the deal is on the line, I don't think any player in any game situation ever wished they had practiced less. And so I wanted to leave everyone with the fact that we need to be role-playing every single day. Carrie Scholl even said that she and uh, Michelle Wilson, they role play daily with their agents. Um, we as loan officers need to be role playing. We need to be, we need to know what to say. That's having a script. That's having dialogue. And then we need to perfect it. 
We need to, I forget, there was another speaker that said, record yourself, record yourself on Zoom, go back and watch it and see how you're talking, your tonality. Um, guys, I go back and watch these interviews and, and, and critique myself and how I talk. And so I think we always got to be getting better when it comes to our sales process that happens through role playing. And, um, and I, I just thought, Hey, I thought your sequence yesterday, Dave was absolutely incredible. And, uh, yeah, it was a, it was a talk about a grand slam. I think the event yesterday was an absolute grand slam. Yeah, no, total, totally agree. Someone asked if the event was going to be free and, you know, this is a, a premium event put on by win by noon and, um, and the, most of the proceeds are going to first home IQ. So yeah, it's, it's not free. It's a hundred dollars for the recording, uh, for 30 days. And, and then I, it's $150 if you want it for one year, which, I recommend it is the gift that keeps on giving and you can truly use this to improve your skills and help realtors. Uh, and if you haven't already paid and signed up, you can go to um, or, or, um, uh, modernmortgagesummit.com and sign up. And and then and, and it's not too late to do that. In fact, I don't know that Todd ever turns it off. I think people could go sign up and get it anytime. And uh, the full recording again for anyone that came in late, it sounds like it's available. Like people that paid, you can log in and get it now. Uh, people that didn't pay, you can sign up and I'm sure you'll get an email today and you'll have access to it over the weekend. Uh, and then within a week, we will have um, all the sessions broken up individually and in a platform. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, and and uh, look at the schedule in our community. The schedule is there. So if you go in and you want to see the live show and you want to see where, where man is, you can, you know, you can just, we, we followed the schedule. Like I think the modern mortgage summit was like eight minutes late. So we were eight minutes out of schedule. And I think the real estate was like nine or 10. So it was pretty on time. You know, you, you can use that schedule and it should help you skip around in the, in everything. Also, Dan, you know, one thing, I you mentioned Renee Rodriguez earlier. I I actually signed up to do another Amplify in two weeks in Orange County. He's doing a, oh, cool. a, an Amplify closely, but it it was also just a reminder of just how how powerful it is when you really have great presentation skills. Uh, you know, it helps you create better social media. It helps you show up better on stage. For anyone that has not been through an Amplify. I, I can't recommend it enough. It was a, you know, really important. Yeah. You went five times, Dan? I've got, I've been to five Amplifies, actual breakouts, like you're going to the two-day event. And I've gone to two of his summits or uh, what, uh, what does he call those? Uh, you know, the Vegas, the, uh, it's called you know, Amplifies? yeah, yeah. Just his, his, so he'll do like a seminar, like a three or four hour seminar. Right. But then he'll do the two-day events. Um, and, and I can't recommend that enough. I went in with purpose on the first one to learn how to create a better message with more impact in a short period of time, mainly for video. And I left with so much more um, for my, my being able to speak on stage to doing Zooms. I uh, highly recommend. Yeah, yeah highly. And, and I'm and, and anybody that wants to go um, shoot me an email because I'm doing two things. One, I'm going to go to that event again myself in Orange County. And I do think there are some open seats. I'm not sure. Um, email me at dave at trustengine.com. And then I'm also thinking about putting together when I first went to the first one, it was, I think it was Dan's second, but my first one I put, I it was like invite only. It was just mortgage coaches. And, yeah. and, and I want to do another one of those sometime this year. So if you want to be on that list, Dave at mortgage coach. Uh, and also I'm trying to get Renee to do some type of a, uh, special for mortgage coaches. I know he's going to do something. I just don't know what it is yet. So email me at Dave at mortgage coach to make sure you guys get in on that. Um, yeah. And someone just said that men was at two hours and 17 minutes. So two hours and 17 minutes and you can go see a master class on how to completely crush it on social media. It was pretty spectacular. Oh, also Dan, I don't know if you know this, but in the recording of the event. So everybody who's got the 365 pass and when we get the recording up, we're going to have, we have a John Chiplack 15 minute just for the modern mortgage summit. Like it's gold. Like oh, yeah. that dude is ridiculous. 
So, so that's going to be in there. Um, God, Todd has someone else. Sean Shambanoshian has it confirmed, but I asked him to do it and he said he would try. Uh, so we may have a shot video. So there's going to be some, even if you had the live event, even if you watch yeah. the live event, there's going to be some bonus content into the recording. So have yeah. you ever, have you been following it, Chip Lack? Are you? Yeah. In oh yeah. What he's on, on, just online. I've never gone to his stuff, but here, th I want to hit pause real quick. Everyone listening right now, here's your big nugget and your big takeaway from today. And this is what I've been able to do over the years. Anytime a mortgage professional like Shayla goes out and connects with a John Sheplak guy, for example, um, anytime a guy like like JJ Mazo, a mentor of mine, goes out and is getting coached by Ben Newman, um, any anytime you know you got these mortgage professionals that are going like Dave and going to a summit or excuse me an Amplify event with Renee Rodriguez, guys, these are cues and these are clues of what the best of the best are doing and go connect with those people. Um, at, start by following him on social media, like, like Min with social media. He, I don't believe that he said anything from stage about his content being his content. He probably swiped it from someone else. I don't think he creates all of his own OG content. In fact, I know for a fact he doesn't. He said it from stage. Take some of the stuff that I'm doing and go redo it. Make, put your own spin on it, but go redo it. So, Copy what the greats are. If he has 300 plus thousand followers and he's closing 40 loans a month on social media, try to maybe go do what he's doing. Um, like I said from stage yesterday, my office presentation for real estate agents on the NAR settlement. I've already been in front of almost 300 real estate agents face to face with two slides and some information. Go take it and go do that. Um, but go check. Go, I would connect with John Sheflag. I know Shayla's been being coached by him right now and, and, and doing some stuff. And I will definitely, that's where I'm heading. Um, same thing with Ben Newman and some of those guys. So um, definitely something that I would pay attention to those little cues that mortgage professionals, the best of the best are given. So I think we might have just lost Dave, actually. Paul, we, did, did, did we lose Dave? Well, Look. I, looks like we do. Okay, I know we're we're getting near to the, near, near the end too, and I know Dave's in Vegas right now, um, just wrapping up the summit in a hotel. So maybe there, his Wi-Fi went down. Um, I'm gonna go back into the chat real quick. There's just a couple questions. Uh, David Arville, what's up, buddy? Um, Dan, where can we find your NAR presentation? Go into my Rise MLO group, guys. I did a nine, and this is what I said from stage yesterday. I did a nine minute video on exactly what I say and what I do and uh, how I'm delivering it to real estate agents. The big message there is we are here to protect your commission and make you more money. And here's how I'm going to do it. Now more than ever, you want to connect with a mortgage professional because here's what I'm doing. I'm talking about buyer's agency uh, representation up front before you have to do it with your clients. How great would it be if your mortgage professional knew how to articulate these new guidelines, knew how to articulate your value for you so that when you had to slide that buyer's agency agreement across the table and go, by the way, these are some new laws. I needed to put my commission and what I'm charging on here. In most cases, the seller is going to cover it. But in the event they don't, this is what I charge and you're on the hook for it. How, how great would it be if you had a mortgage professional up front articulating that and your value to your clients? And so I'm sharing that with them, number one. Um, so there's a Deb Bird made um, a handout that summarized a Facebook post that I made where there's 90 tasks that real estate agents, buyers agents in particular do throughout a transaction. Maybe not all of them all the time, but here are 90 things that a buyer's agent is going to do for you, Mr. First Time Home Buyer. Um, this is why you need representation. This is why they charge a commission. Okay. And so that's one of them. The other is a slide that I put up there. Um, during my presentation yesterday that I share at real estate offices and it's mortgage coach. And it's a slide on current agency commissions where the seller's paying the commission. And then what if the seller says, no, I'm not paying. What do you do? Hey, guess what you guys, as mortgage professionals, we have solutions. And this, this is how I use mortgage coach to share those solutions. And then I'm taking that. I'm taking the fact that I understand and can articulate what's going on with NAR and then lastly, guys, in the mortgage industry, I'm staying on top of this stuff. 
I know that FHA just came out yesterday and they're working on solutions relative to um, concessions and real estate agent commissions. And so I'm, I'm sharing that. Same thing with Fannie and Freddie. And so when stuff happens there, I'll be the first one to let you guys know. But this is coming down in July. In the meantime, let's be prepared. Let's get better at what we say to buyers and sellers in regards to the, the buyer's agency representation and commission issues. And then articulate that we have solutions and that's where Mortgage Coach comes in for me. So David, that was a really, really great, great question. But if you go into the Rise MLO group that we talked about, I have that nine minute video and I also have the presentation there for you guys, okay? We lost you for a minute, Dave, right, but I was make sure you follow Dan Keller. I I I I I I I heard that and I I I'm in a hotel internet, you know. So what happens? Yeah. Yeah. So I hope everybody got value. I hope that you're gonna follow Dan on social, get into his group. I mean, Dan is obsessed with impact. Dan Keller attacks the process and helps people improve their process. And Dan Keller is purpose and profits driven. I mean, he's truly a teacher. Um, you know, I think he's going to become a first home IQ ambassador and a uh, little pressure there, you know, a little pressure. Oh, we did. Hey, uh, we did. I, oh, I signed up. Oh, uh, you signed five, up? Well, yes. yeah. And I met with, uh, yeah, got, I got uh, everything with Kristen. I did my, you know, the video for y'all. So uh, yeah, we're good. Oh, good. I'm, 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 I'm well, an ambassador. Good. Yeah. Good to, good to have you on this mission, but you, you were already a purpose and profits driven entrepreneur. And that is my closing thought, you guys. Well, if you do donate money and you do get active in purpose, you know, nonprofit organizations, consider First Home IQ. But whether you do First Home IQ or not, be a community leader, you know, like, like real estate agents, um, many of them for, for, for decades have built, you know, some of the most successful real estate practices by being that local leader, that community leader. And, and going forward, that's just going to become more valuable. Like pre-NAR settlement, your database mattered. Pre-NAR settlement, being a community leader mattered. Post-NAR settlement, those things matter even more. Dan, thank you for coming in last minute and uh, helping me put on this mastermind. You killed it. Guys, give us a little reaction. Let us know what you thought of today's mastermind. Hopefully we... Uh, we delivered some value. We gave you some reminders and uh, it was a good hour of your time. So yeah, lots of stars. Here's my applaud for Dan. Thank you guys. Have an awesome day. Have an awesome weekend and have a, a great um, Easter holiday. Take care.